I uh, am actually just starting this one because I figured it might be good to show the people who have, um, well, who are just starting, you know, and they just want to try out this game. But these are the most common things that I see people having, and I just want to make sure that everybody kind of gets on the same page so that you can have a good experience and enjoy Seven Days to Die for what it's worth. Um, so welcome again and thank you. I'm starting from the very beginning because I want everybody to understand there's there's more than just starting the day one. It's also your game setup. It's it's what you need to do to get started. So with that, um, I'm going to show you what, what the settings are. The biggest things that you should change right from the get-go. Um, and that being, once you get into the game to go start, you want to go to options. You're going to want to go to your videos, and you're going to want to up your gamma to about 65. Try not to go over 70, um, but somewhere in here. I see the default is, and this is going to take forever, but the default is just way too low. It's it set at like 10, maybe 15%. So I'm trying to get these people who are, who are new to the game uh, starting out with so that you can see. Because when you leave it as default, you're not going to be able to see very easily. And if you go too bright, uh, it's a horrible experience. Everything's just too too much. So turn up your gamma to about, if you can, anywhere from 50 to 70%. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is display a distant terrain. Once you turn on the terrain, you can see out in the distance. You can see the beautiful scenery. Uh, the Fun Fims have done a really good job at bringing in some good landscaping and stuff. But if you have this turned off, you're always going to have a fog in front of you, and you just can't see... I, I don't know, it's a, you just can't see very far in front of you. I, I don't know exactly how far it is to a couple blocks, but everything's always a surprise. So that I can touch on in a different in a different uh, tutorial or even a different explanation. You can turn that off and, and have a different experience. But um, those are the f things that I always see newbies needing the most. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to call you newbie, but you are what it is. And this is just to get started. I'm going to actually just do a new game so that you guys can see how to get started. Choose your character. There's not much more than that. I'm going to just choose Jack for myself. Um, the differences here, I'm going to let you guys do a search and figure out what the differences are here. If you love to build and just want to go out in there and build and don't want to, you know, uh, go get the resources and stuff, just just play creative. It, it is what it is and it's fun and it has its, bon its pluses. People down talk it at times do what you enjoy to do and if that is to build the creative is definitely the one to go if you don't mind mining the resources and shooting some zombies and building then definitely you're going to want to go into these survival stuff um, private match real quick a private is just that only people that you invite can come into your game if you do a survival um, anybody out in the internet is going to be able to find your game and they come in and that's where people get introduced to trolls I always do a private, but I also go out there and just join people and see if I can help them if possible. If you do a local game, no one else can ever connect it. This is your split screen. Okay, so we're going to do a private. And I like doing random gens. If you're new to it and you want to do Navis game, it's great. There's maps out there. You can go find uh, like a, a JPEG or some kind of image of what the world looks like. I'm going to do a random gen. These private gen, I'm not going to go into details here. You can just modify things as needed for you. Again, this is like a tutorial of just how to get started from the very beginning, changing your gamma, changing that display, because if you don't change those, it does make it a, a tough game and very hard, and you just don't have a really good experience. Hey, Daryl, how you doing? Uh, welcome to the stream. I'm actually just going through a tutorial here. Guys, Just I know you can see my screen on the right hand side. There's no comment showing up. That's an issue between YouTube and PSN that we're, going, we're dealing with right now. Um, they're not feeding in here, but I will definitely uh, try to do the best I can to look at the laptop as well and watch the chats. Uh, hey Fussrow, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Bus, my man. Thank you Bus for stopping by. Bird boy. Private Turner, how you doing? Um, I'm on Guy's Tray for charity later. I'm playing with him. Oh, okay. Sounds good. I'm going to start this, guys. This is where I'm, I'm going to go. I'm just doing a tutorial really from those 
and I'm even going to do this. For those people really uh, just starting the game out, the biggest things uh, that I see people having uh, is their gamma's not into in a good spot, their uh, display distant terrains off. They just really I see people having a hard time and fr and they're frustrated. They get really frustrated with the game, where if you are actually doing the challenges and you leave the gamma at the 10 to 15 percent where the default is, it's hard to find nests and people just have a really hard time doing that kind of stuff so um, I'm just trying to do a tutorial from the very beginning here's how to get started into the game here's how to enjoy it have a good time currently uh, just in case for this is archiving reasons if anybody in the future comes in this is for seven days to die version 1.18 for the PS4 uh, there are some changes coming up in the future they are rumors we're not really sure just yet but um, this is going to show you how, well, I'm also going to spam craft to do what people call spam crafting. I also call it learning, is, is what I call it. Because as you learn to build the weapons, you learn to do it better. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in these tutorials. Um, hey, Legend. How's my day? My day is going well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Techno. I'm doing really good, Techno. Really good. Hey, been seeing you playing Bloodborne. Loving that game. It's, and good seeing you out there. I uh, need to get out there and watch you more. Alright, so for those uh, just starting the game, these survival basics, Noah really likes us. He wants us to getting the basics quests. Your quests are up in your top right hand area. I know uh, some people do not like this biome or like to start off in this biome. This is the desert biome. You get cacti or cactus when you're in the desert. If you're in the plains, you get little cactus and yucca, but you also in the desert get yucca. Yucca is great because you can pick it up with no tools and you can use it as food and water and you're going to end up using a lot of it. So the thing that we want to start is I crouch so that you can uh, uh, watch it, it tells you if you're being detected so you can kind of watch things get your plant fibers you need 20 of them I think every time you hit one you get like two we want to make a bedroll is what our goal is so there it is I'm gonna use shortcut keys I'm sorry I hit square and we're gonna go over here to our tutorials this is our basic basic crafting tools right now I only have the ability to make a bedroll that's why it's highlighted in in bright white um, I'm going to hit craft, which I'm going to hit just the up on my direction key, or you can click here. But I'm just, I use shortcut keys, learn them. Speed is definitely an issue here when playing uh, Seven Days to Die. Sometimes you need to craft items quickly. I'm going to keep knocking these out. Here is a nest. We're going to search this puppy. We only get an egg. We'll take it. You're going to want rocks I'm gonna tell you the thing that I do is just pick up whatever you can around you don't move around too much you got a little bit free zone or free roaming around that you can uh, kinda of get your resources as needed before zombies actually start coming towards you so we'll keep getting our resources um, another thing too Let's see, I just saw them somewhere around here. There's little pieces of wood. Wood, uh, there's one right here. So this will give you wood. Just go ahead and hit that. It'll give you two pieces of wood. You don't need to top, chop down trees. We need to lay our bedroll. So I'm completing our task. I'm just going to throw that down right there. And that task has been completed. Or a quest, I should say. Now the reason why I'm saying I hit those pieces of wood is because we need to be able to get wood. That's the only other piece of wood that you can get actually here through, you bet fuss. You can get these through um, using your stone axe. But see as I hit this, this takes forever. I haven't even, there's one piece of wood and I keep hitting it and hitting it. We're wasting our resources. And look at my stamina down in the bottom left. It's not good. You don't want to do that. But what do we need to do to build our... Uh, axe up in the it's now our quest we got our gathering stone we need three more stone I can see these things just over here 
So I'm going to go pick up what I can here. Finding stone in the desert is a little bit of a, a bugger. But I'm going to pick up this wood too because wood is a necessity. But see, I'm looking for these things to grab my wood. But we're looking for stone. We need stone. I'm going to grab some more feathers. Feathers are always good to have. Um, if you guys have questions, please ask them in the chat. I will, like I said, I got to look on a different screen, but I'm going to try to help you guys out, and it might help out in the future too. So I will do what I can. Uh, here's another stone. Being out here in the desert, grab these yucca. These are going to be your biggest key to surviving in the desert. All right, so we have enough wood and we have enough stone to make an axe. Now, you're going to be able to do a lot of what you need to do within the first seven days easily within this basics, okay? The basics menu. You can change them so here's your building and your tools and your food and clothing, but um, I'm going to use my right stick to go to a different page, okay? So there's two pages. You can also use these arrows here. There's two pages. The things that are high, that are highlighted in white, you can build these because you have enough resources for them. I'm going to start our stone axe. Remember, I'm just hitting up and starting it. Things that I don't have resources for are now, I don't have enough. They're going to be highlighted this way or not highlighted. I'm just going to click my, because I'm in my menu, I'm going to click my R3 and that will put it in the first available spot in your tool belt. So this is how I quickly move things around. So now that you have a stone axe, you're going to want to use it. The reason you want to use it is because I'm holding I'm holding square and I'm going to my skills is you want to be able to start using your construction tools. As you start using these your axe or your hammer or your pick or well pickaxes for mining, you start gaining these abilities. Hey XO, good seeing you. Welcome to the stream. This is kind of a tutorial for the day one survivors and getting started for 7 days to die. But this is why you want to use your stone axe is so that you can gain your abilities in, in using them and get those skills up. So I'm going to hit yucca. I'm going to hit these cacti. This is giving me plant fibers and when I take it down it gives me yucca. These guys are big. They'll give me two yucca. And the very tall ones will give you about three yucca. Now the reason why I'm telling you guys to get this stuff especially in the desert biome is if you go here to the yucca you can either just eat it okay I, I hit the left direction and that will give you food or you can click on it with the triangle and you can go to recipes uh, right now I can make them into seed or you can make it into yucca juice I can't make it into juice because I don't have a glass jar reason being is my glass jar is right here and it's full with clean water as I drink this I can make this or I can make more yucca juice will cool you and it but it takes four four yucca to make one so what I'm gonna do is kinda get us back on track we're kinda losing a little bit of time which is alright I'm gonna get as much plant fiber as I can because we're gonna end up using a lot to start making our clothing um, also the thing that I was uh, let me uh, go up to our clothing I'm gonna do these fast remember I'm using my craft key to just press up so I'm highlighting this by pressing X I'll go down here these things will now go into our queue so I'm just gonna start putting these things in here these are the next things that are our challenge we just need to make them I'm gonna go ahead and put on my plant fiber now also let me point these out to you too because this is this is the thing that the quests and tutorials don't do see this uh, hood it has an insulation of plus two I'm in the desert and it's going to give me plus two it's going to make me hotter so you're going to end up having to watch this kind of stuff now if you're in the winter biome that's a good thing desert biome most likely I'm going to take these things back off very shortly alright let's see Let's start getting some more plant fibers. We need to also get a couple more stone. See how we can look off in the distance? There's a road over here. This is because we turned on the distant terrain. 
If you don't turn that off or turn that on, you have a fog right in front of you, and you just you can barely see even that third cacti right there that my ex that my view was on. You'd barely be able to see it because you got a fog, you got a distance, a distant fog. But now we can hit these things to get the wood that we need, and it's much easier and better, and it uses less stamina than um, trying to hit it with just my fist. I mean, it makes sense, right? So I'm getting a little bit of rock here. This is not the way I prefer or encourage people to get uh, rocks the first day. If you can, get out of this biome. I'm looking around and we've got quite a ways to run. But we're going to get a couple of resources here and get a weapon now. I'm starting to... Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm... So I've got my two pages and our, we're running really low. See how my stone axe is a one? We're going to build another one. And you'll notice it'll come up as a two. Now here's the thing. This takes five rocks, two plant fibers, and two wood to make. Now if I come over here and I just scrap this. You don't want your old one. You don't want to repair it. You, you want to build better quality. Notice this one's a number two. It's better. So I'm pressing triangle. I'm going to scrap it. So I'm pressing right on the directional pad. It's going to give me three rocks back. So I get some of my resources. I lose a little bit, but I get some back. Stone, in the very beginning of the game, is pretty important to come by. So I'm going to grab some more yucca so that I can make sure, because it looks like we're really semi-deep into the into the biome here, desert biome. Alright, we're going to search this. Alright, that's good. So we got a good weapon that they're giving us. We'll take that. And gun parts, I'm too early in the game right now. I'm going to scrap it. But we do need that food. Now I have a system. I like my stuff in certain places so that I know where things are at. I'm going to start organizing my spot so that I know where things are at. Right now it's too early. I don't need that. These I like to hold over here. Plant fibers. You guys don't need to do this. Land claims, that's a whole different system. I'm going to actually just scrap it so that I get more iron. We're going to put that there. Okay, I like to have my uh, resources up here to help me stay alive. Oh, this will work out really well. Okay, I'm pressing R3. It's going to go to my tool belt in the next available slot. So that's it. Now we still need to make a wooden club. Here we go. I'm pressing up. Now guys, another thing that I see people doing a lot is they sit here and they make one. You know, so they're like, okay, make one, make one, make one. Notice I'm making a whole bunch of my queue. That's not the way to do it. If you want to make multiple, get up here and change your quantity. Now I don't have enough, but again here, it takes 10 to make a wooden club. We scrap it we get seven back so you only lose three we want our wood back as much as possible so I'm gonna go here notice you can change this you can click in the little spot and type what you want if you want too much well not too much but you get my idea alright let's kinda of see what we can do let's get out of here see if we can get to a better biome this is the key that I tell you no matter what biome you're in you wanna move to get to, oh man we got lots of desert that way and what do we got this way while you're moving you want to do some crafting you want to also use your tools uh, I can't tell if that's but we're going there alright so here's the thing I want to teach you guys too, to what to keep your eye out for this is where I was telling you just earlier I hate hitting rocks because it's every time I hit it I get one stone I get one raw iron and that's great for the raw iron but in the early game it's it's not worth it, it, it so instead what we're going to do is we're this little road right here th this little one it, it looks a little it doesn't look paved that's because it's not it's actually a gravel road knowing that we're going to go here to a stone shovel and you build a stone shovel and we're gonna go dig up and get our rocks I'm gonna show you what I mean here okay so let's look I've only got eight stone here right 
and I'm hitting this. I only get one, and then one, and then one. It's, I say, a lot of work. Now you come with a stone shovel. I'm going to go get this, though. We're going to need these. See, now we're starting to see zombies. We've got one over there. This is the gravel road I was telling you. So I'm going to crouch so that I can tell if I'm being detected. So that I can just dig. Now I'm getting two stone. Two sand. You don't have to hold on to the sand, or you can hold on to the sand. I sometimes will hold on to it so that I can make glass jars when I, if I can build a forge. Usually I can get a forge at the latest by day five, but this is a lot easier and quicker to get our stones. Look at that. Okay, with that being said, we're going to try to get some stones here. I want to get you guys to a better biome. So as I'm running, now remember this will use your stamina, but we're going to try to get to this green biome. The green biome will be a little bit easier on our temperature. Make sure that we're going to be alright. There we got a little guy trying to come over here. I call him Pascal. I know that's not his name, but he reminds me of the uh, Pascal from uh, what's the movie? Uh, Pet Cemetery. Hey, Sneaks. Thanks, buddy. Whoa. I turned around to look at his laptop and I turned around, period. It looked just like, bet you guys know where my laptop is. It's to the left. Don't see sandbag or, or zombies going through sandbags. Nope. Hey, Mike. How you doing, buddy? Thanks. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for you know, stopping by and saying hi. I'm just doing a day one tutorial on how to get started and even set up your game to have a good time on Seven Days to Die. Um, let's see. We're really close to this biome. Now there are two different types of. Um, green biomes. There's the pine biome and there is a maple biome. I'll actually explain the differences between them once I get this piece of wood. Mike, we're doing really well. Really good. Hope you're doing well. Saw you're going to be getting back on the streaming soon. Excited to see you doing some Dead by Daylight and getting some vampire hours in. It'll be good. Okay. It's pretty obvious this is the pine tree biome because you see all these pine trees. The difference with the pine tree biome, it does snow here. It gets really cold. Um, not completely cold, that it's like the winter biome. It just gets cold. We're running low on this, so we're going to scrap it. We're going to make a new one. And I can hear somebody following me. I'm going to put this here. We'll actually see. Now, when you hit the zombies aim a little bit above their head I don't even remember what my settings are here I'd say they're probably my default adventure maybe make sure you hit them in the head though as much as you can alright fuss thanks for stopping by this is great we're getting lots of food definitely needed that okay so we're going to this little short ones I'm hitting these because they give me 12 wood with one swing so now all of a sudden, I'll show you why I'm doing this, is now we're getting tons of wood really quick, really fast, and we're still going to start covering ground. It's now 1 o'clock in the afternoon. They start running by default at 2200, unless you've shut that off. That's, that's your settings. That's up to you. Know what your settings are, know what they do, so that you know how to play the game your way. I can see that there's a... It looks like possibly... Oh shoot, I can't even... Oh, okay. Man, I am one lucky guy. I can show you guys the forge, because that's actually a forge house. Okay, knowing that the house is there... Oh, we're hunted. Let's go find this. Um, where is he? She? I can actually show you guys... Oh, it's a nurse. Okay. Remember, aim a little bit high so that you hit them in the head. The headshots count the best. It looks like I'm going to miss them, but you're not hitting exactly where you think you are if you place your cursor over it. 
Yeah, I was thinking it might be a crawler too. Nurses are good because sometimes, well, they usually will carry something uh, to heal you, whether it be a bandage, splints, painkillers, something to that effect. Now myself, what I try to do is when I have found a place that I call home, which that is going to be home for the night, I now try to get about a thousand wood, about 600 stone, and about four to six hundred plant fibers. Reason being is now I can teach you guys how to spam craft through the night. I should be actually spam crafting right now. Spam crafting, remember, it's not a bad thing. You hear it, people say it like it's a bad thing. You're learning how to make the weapon and every time you make it, you learn how to make it better. It's like real life. I'm gonna make 12 of these. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna start hitting to get some more wood. kind of keep looking around. I know we don't have too many zombies around here. There was a cr crackhead over there. But what we're doing is just kind of keeping our heads on a swivel, hitting things around. And remember, this took 10 to make. Scrap it. Okay, you're going to get 7 back, so you only lose 3 resources. Look at this. We found this and we were excited because it was a 20 and that was better than what we had at the moment we're now at a 34 <laughs> was he looking for rocks um, not sure he was out there like he was alright I'm gonna make about 14 more, eh, 15 that works so this is what people call the ABC's Okay, always be crafting Granted, I was in the desert. I'm trying to take this a little slow so I can explain things to you guys. But definitely be crafting continually. Even as you're out here gathering resources, you know, I can still be crafting things. And if you think you need to be making sure that you're not being uh, chased, crouch. It'll tell you if you're being detected. I'm not going to worry about these rocks, but what I, oh, see, when I can't hit those in one hit, that typically means your uh, stone axe is really low. So I'm going to craft a new one. We are at a six. I'm going to scrap this one. This one's now an eight. Our weapons are getting up there. I'm keeping this one, the highest one we can build in my weapon slot. Get your resources back. Even though you might only have 100 in wood, you can still build more than just 10 clubs. But always be be crafting. I know this is this is how I do it. I build and get my quantity or my quality up to 100 in just wooden clubs first, and then after that, I start doing the arrows. Arrows as you craft will give you better and more experience towards your weapon crafting. But I try to shoot through the 100s with building arrows because it just takes more. It, it's a little bit harder to... Oh, there he is. Make sure you hit him in the head. If you just do body shots, yeah, it slows him down, but not a lot. Check him. We ain't got nothing. All right, let's. Oh, we got another one. Sounds like he's in the house. Okay, remember, I'm use I'm doing quick keys. Triangle, right. Triangle, right. Triangle, right. I'm just. I'm scrapping. So if you hit the triangle here, you can see it's this. Okay. Looks like we got another one coming. I'm not too worried because our weapons are a lot harder or better than what they were just a few moments ago. These bloaters, they're a little bit tougher. They're strong guys. Oh, he's swinging. Oh, and we got a crackhead back there too. Try to dodge their hits as 
as much as you can. I swear we have a crawler. Oh man, we got a couple. Ouch. Oh man, we've got quite a few of those. I'm having a hard time here. Just remember, take it easy. Don't worry about it. Worst case scenario, you lead them away from where you're going. We've got a crawler over there. Be aware of him. Oh, shoot. Swung too early. Just take it easy. If you're feeling like you're getting threatened, lead them away. You can always lead them. Ooh, we got it. You can always just lead them. They are... They are just like sheep. So if they are somewhere where you want to go, lead them away. That crawler one's getting a little too close. I like to go hit them when they're down on the ground, but this guy's keeping me away from him, and he's down. I'm trying to save that crawler for last so I can tell you guys at least a little bit more. Okay, so the crawlers, every time you walk over there by them, and they, if they hit you, they will break your legs. Get down to their level. Keep shooting at their, er, shooting, hitting their heads, but keep your distance as I get hit. As long as I keep my distance and I'm down at his level, he won't break my leg. Okay. Alright, back to business. Let's go see what weapons we have here. And I'm just going to drop this. I'm going to drop, well, no, because I'm at a spot where I can show you how to smelt stuff. And I'm going to start again. Now let's go through our bodies. Go back and loot them. This is going to give you your perks. So going at your perks again and looking on. Now I'm going through pages by just using my right stick. And I'm looking for looting, scavenging right here. Okay, we're, we're getting it as we're starting to loot. We should be able to take their teeth out and turn them into teeth bullets. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Start using all the resources. All right, here... I'm going to have to get some room in here because I'm starting to remember triangle right, triangle right. Now these do change sometimes depending on what item it is that you're you're on. So be sure to pay attention to what the differences are. It wouldn't be the first time that I accidentally would have scrapped water or a bandage. That one's always a good one. Scrapping the bandage when you need that one. You go to use it, and instead it turns into a scrap. Alright. It is 1600, so we're going to have to go grab some stone to do that. Oh, we got one over here too. Empty glass jars are great. Okay. How much wood do we have? 600. I'm going to. I don't think we can do 14. We're going to go to about 10. We're going to scrap that. We're going to go to the back over here where this road was. Crouch down. And just. I just do one level so that it doesn't leave a big old ditch. But if I'm worried, like at night, I actually will go down one level because you can actually start hiding, not necessarily hiding in it, but it does slow people down. Hey Andy, welcome to the stream. I'm just doing a, a little tutorial for those people who are starting with day one. I started with uh, updating your gamma settings and uh, displaying the distant terrain so that everybody can enjoy the game from the very beginning. And uh, now I'm just trying to show them how to see, but my stamina is now low, so I'm not getting quite as many. 
per swing. We're going to go scrap these. See, we've been able to... I'm actually going to scrap this iron because I don't need it. I will wear these shades. But now that our weapons are at over a hundred, oh, and we need a new shovel, we're just going to scrap all of this. I'm going to keep my weapon right here. I'm going to actually go through our wep our arrows now, and I'm going to press the over arrow. This will allow me to make as many re as much as I can with what resources I have. Because I can see that I have 108 arrows, I really want to save that spot for future, so I just down it by one. I hit the up on the direction pad. Oh, I should have made a shovel. We'll stop that. We'll make a shovel. We'll organize this stuff again. Alright, now we'll go make our arrows again. And again, I'm just going to down it by one. And we're going to start digging again. Get our our stone. What's this gamma? So being asked the question, what's the gamma setting? Do you change the weather one too? Or do you know the number of what gamma? Um, with the gamma, I typically will go anywhere between 50 to about 70. I try to get in there just barely above half. I try to target about 60 to 65 max myself. Uh, it just makes it so it's a good you can see in front of you, you can see around you, and then turning on that distant terrain. Well, I thought I heard somebody. Turning on that distant terrain makes it to where you can start finding those ga gravel roads a little easier, like, um, I don't want to say easier, but you can actually see ahead of you. Oh, we'll take that pistol book too. We'll read that. We don't need dirt, so we're going to throw that away. Right now I may need a can. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll save it so I can show you guys what it's for. But we might have found a little water source as well. Um, so, Darcinda, the reason the chat's not showing up be under my shield is there is an issue with uh, YouTube or Sony. They keep pointing the finger at each other, but something has changed in the API, and API is just a, a protocol that is used to allow different, uh, different items to speak to different places. So when you talk to YouTube, it needs to talk to Sony and display here. But there is a bug. It's been a bug since I think it was yesterday. Let's see if we go up here, we can go inside and get the water. But um, it was started yesterday, about three o'clock a.m. Mountain Time is when I kind of came across it. So that's at least what I'm seeing. I don't know when they'll have it fixed. Nobody, like I said, they're blaming each other. They haven't really said why it's not working. YouTube says it's Sony, Sony says it's YouTube. Myself having the developer background, I haven't seen a Sony update since that time it stopped working, which means I would ex suspect that their um, API hasn't changed. And so I think maybe something on YouTube has changed, but I don't know how all of that works though behind. I don't know if it's YouTube pushes it to PSN, and PSN now, because of your account, pushes it to your to you being signed in. I don't know, but yes, somebody has made some change, and they need to revert it. So I'm going to scrap this, because this is a pistol barrel that I just don't need right now. And remember, I was telling you, we're going to keep spam crafting. We're still going to keep learning those experiences. No problem, Darcy. All right, we're going to get this. What do we got? We got 300, so we need plant fibers and we need stone. And we've got roughly in-game time, two hours to do it. Remember, I told you as long as you have the distant terrain, you can find your gravel roads. Gravel roads will always lead you to a POI or a point of interest. 
that means it's a home. Whether or not you're just going to go stand on top of the roof for the night, that's up to you and what you want to do with it, or you can build it into your home. That that's depends on your style of play and what you're going to play at that time. But the gravel road is definitely a big win because notice now that my quality of my shovel is going up and my experience, I can now do one and I'm getting three rocks instead of now two rocks. So I'm getting more than just coming over here. I'm pressing my up directional key to shift or to switch my tool. Now I only get one. You know, it's I get more stone faster and quicker in early game. Now granted on day 28 or something like that or even 14 to be honest with you, you're not going to want to come out here and dig up this road. Not unless you are wanting stone and this is all you're kind of in a pinch if you will and you're just looking for what you can get then yes this resource is here it's okay to use but early game this gets you your stone very fast uh, bus oh it's totally YouTube's fault since yesterday my views and subs have been broken too oh yeah I haven't seen the subs and the views I'm not sure, but my, like I said, myself being a developer, I I would assume that the PlayStation, its software, is reading the API to display here. We haven't received an update. I'm, as you can tell by my shield, you know, that's the beta shield. It means I'm a beta tester for Sony. And yeah, it's great. It's fun. It's awesome. Uh, I do have a lot more glitches here and there. You do have to be aware. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, don't sign up for being a beta tester. You will have bugs. But anyways, with that being said, I haven't received a beta update for a little while either. So I'm not seeing that Sony has changed their API on their end. I think YouTube has made a change and they just need to revert it. It's okay. I mean, heck, I'm a developer and that stuff happens. You know, you make mistakes. That's why we're, it's called bugs. You squish the bugs and you make new stuff fix them but I only see the changes possibly coming through YouTube's API to PlayStations I don't know if that's politically correct or not on how I explained that so hopefully I don't get penalized for it <laughs> but I don't know that's just my my background my two cents because my ten cents cost money so that's my two cents for you um, all right let's see where we're at See how we're up at almost? I was telling you we wanted to try to get to about 600 was my goal. We've got two hours in-game time, and then I'm going to go inside that house. I feel so bad because if any of you guys actually go and play with me or you go and look at a... Uh... Shoot, we've already gone through that shovel. But you look at where I stay a lot of the time, um, it's always this forge house. Oops, did I not? Oh, I put favorite crafting. Um, it's always this house. I'm just, I'm lucky when I can find this house. It's got everything you need uh, to get by until day 21 easily. You can survive the hordes in here really easy. Okay, but with that, knowing that there's a forge in there, we need clay. So I'm going to go over here and grab at least 200 clay so I can start smelting stuff. And this will all make sense too. The smelting, this comes with experience. It takes time. Smelting is in a forge. A forge is an area that you can, you know, melt materials down and reform them into, that was a lot of rocks for a little tiny pebble, but you can um, melt things down um, to reuse them or form them back into something else for yourself. Uh, you could bust the the way I play it, and I'll I'll hurry and show you guys through the night on how I fortify this house real quick. Oh, I, you know what's one thing I'm gonna do? I'll always be crafting, but we'll see where my weapons are at now. So here we go. My weapons are at 132. Not too shabby for being what are we 45 minutes into the game 
I'm actually coming across night. And I've now completed half my quests. The next qu the next three quests really easy. Okay, we definitely have enough. We need I'm not going to have enough fiber, but I'll have enough to show you guys the tutorial on how to get through it and we'll be all right. Like I said, moving from the desert to here took a little bit more time. And also, I did start out, compared to how I do things, I started out very slow so I could explain things to you. And I hope this makes sense. And if not, you know, reach out to me. I've got uh, my PSN down at the bottom. Feel free to reach out to me. I am Mr. Crow69. And. Uh, my partner who we stream a lot with we run another channel called crow's nest together it's our community channel we stream different games there um, his name is Carl Dil Dilkington I always mess that one up his PSN is down there also at the bottom you can add him he's more than welcome to or more than willing to help you as well um, most likely you found this on the the Mr. Crow channel. So if you want to look up Crow's Nest with a K, that also works. We just do different things over there. And Crow does 69. He is. <laughs> okay, we're at 2200. Well, 2115. So my next quest is to make wood frames. I know because of this house that we're in, I've built here many times, at least the front house, we're going to need 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to need 10 plus the upstairs. I'm going to build 10. I only need to build four for the, or three for the quest, and then I need to upgrade them. So we're going to complete that quest as is. Then our next quest is going to be making a campfire. Oh, yeah, we'll take these. And we'll take those too. And let's see, what are our resources at? We got 500, almost 500. We need wood. Oh my goodness, what do we need? We need lots of wood. We're not gonna, it's gonna be close, but we'll be all right. Hey, Frazzle, welcome to the stream. Uh, Frazzle, just this is, for those who are just joining or found this and looking into it, this is a tutorial for seven days to die, how to get started including setting up your your uh, settings properly at the very beginning updating your gamma to where it's an enjoyable experience updating the distant terrain so turning it on not even updating it um, gamma needs to be to around 60 percent maybe you know 50 to 70 percent somewhere in there so you can see um, no not a series sorry this is a tutorial not a series um, and then how to survive what what you need to do and we're going to actually go in here. I know I don't have anybody around me. Oh, see, my axe is getting weak. Because we still need to beat this door. So because of this, I know I got two doors that I need to build or replace. Because I've been here. I always find this house. Yes, Frazzle, this game is not, not necessarily hard. Frustrating is how I like to put it. A lot of people get very frustrated at the very beginning. Okay, I'm going to put this out this way. I'm going to rotate it with my R2. I put it this way because up top I put a catwalk so it forces them. I can see them from up top. And then I'm going to hit my up arrow and I'm going to reinforce it. And because I have this iron over here, I'm able to upgrade it to the iron. Okay, this is our forge. I'll explain that later. This is a coal source. We're going to replace that with our next tutorial, or with our next quest. I keep saying tutorials. My things are all mixed up. I'm going to knock this window out. I'm going to knock this out. If I had better quality, if I was actually, you know, doing what I was telling you guys to do, I'll always be crafting. Oops, no, I don't need that one. I would be a little bit more ahead of this stuff and have a better better quality my weapons I focus on during the day on my first day my um, construction tools not so much do I focus on them 
but I, I I usually will have them up to at least a 30 by the time I find my house. So our quest is to put three wood frames down. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And now you come over here. Remember, I used my up arrow to go to the first, or sorry, my up directional to go to my first spot. That's where I keep my axe. You hit L2 to upgrade it. So you're fixing it. If you use the R2, you do damage to it. We're trying to upgrade them. So there you go. I just completed my quests and I just made this front section area more secure for us. These are noisemakers. They don't do anything now in um, this version that we're using, which again is 1.18, or also known as uh, the Alpha 16 PC version. In Alpha 15, if you would step on them, the zombies would hear it. I, yeah, see, now I can't make it do it, but the zombies would hear it, and sometimes they'd draw attention to you. Now they're just annoying. So, this is why I made a few extra more. And to save time, I'm not even going to knock out that uh, middle one. I'm actually just going to leave it in there so you guys don't have to wait for it because it's two levels. It would be kind of boring to watch me do it. Again, I just used the up directional. Oops, we're going to have to take this one out. So press triangle. I didn't mean to take that one out. And now, we haven't even looted this place yet, but the bottom floor is pretty secure. Keep these chairs. I use them as fuel sources. You don't need this piece of wood here. It's great to just get your three blocks of wood from it. But in a pinch, if you need to, you can get these chairs and put them in front of doors because the AI just quite isn't smart enough yet. They're working on it. Developers are the the... I can't read Unity? No, it's not even Unity. Iron? Iron Galaxy? They're working on it. They're they're fixing the AI. Right now, the the zombies, they, they try to hit it, and they can't swing down. They don't swing like this. They just look this way, and they start swinging. So they get stuck on it. Crawlers and dogs, on the other hand, can take this out. But it will allow you, to and by time, to hit zombies with your weapons. Bringing that up, I just remembered another thing I see uh, a lot of you doing is using your stone axe as a weapon. A stone axe is not a weapon, it's a tool. Um, it will take them down, yes, but it will take a lot of hits. Let's say, for example, it might take only three hits with a wooden club. It's going to take you like ten hits with a stone axe. It's a lot more work. So, with that, we got our quest to build a campfire. Oh, we got a bear. Awesome. I don't know if you guys heard that, but yeah, we got a bear somewhere out there. I'm undetected, though. All right. I'm going to put that campfire right here. Using L2 to place it, R2 to rotate it. And that's it. We have completed all our tasks within the, within the first day. And Noah's like, hey, good job. You know, he, he's there to help us to survive. But now he's going to give us some more um, advice. He's going to show us a trader. The trader is, that's where my bedroll is, which means I should probably go make a new bedroll. I do not know. So I'm looking at my HUD up, or my map display up in the top center, seeing if I can see the trader's, but he's too far away. Oh, there he is west to northwest. So now if I press and hold the the square and I'm going to go to roughly four o'clock gives me my map. I can see that my arrow is facing this way. Hey Mini G, welcome. Awesome. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Okay. So that's our trader. I actually go save. I can use this as a tutorial for you too. Hey Frazzle, thanks for saying Mini G. Um, I save that because when I go to them, that mat that will go away. 
All right. With that being said, we have now completed all our all our quests minus the trader. We'll hold on to that one. We won't do that in this tutorial. But now it is nighttime. They are going to run by default unless you have changed your settings. I didn't go over that deep in the settings. You can turn those off. You can make it to where they always run or they never run or the default which is they walk during the day and run at night and when the nighttime starts at 2200 the daytime starts by default by 6 a.m. so they'll stop running at that time you can change your daytime to start at 4 a.m. so they can run at that time um, I'm gonna put some coal in here and I'm gonna take this chair and give it up here so between those two things of just gathering resources I've got two minutes worth of fuel now to be able to make things we need a pot and we need a grill I'm not going to go into too much detail about those yet I'll show you what we can do to get them and when then what that opens up but as into where why you need them how you need or whether you need them that is going to be up to your game style I'm just going to show you how to get there so this is our forge you need to bring things in here to smelt this is the forges menu before you can use the forge to like make a crock pot or in a crock pot to make a cooking pot or a grill or anything you need to make an anvil okay so to make an anvil we need 200 iron and we need 20 clay okay so we're going to take our clay which I gathered some right over here and we need iron I didn't gather a lot of iron I instead used it to smelt down so this is scrap iron scrap iron doesn't it, it's a one it melts down to about a one to one raw iron is better so don't scrap it you will get five to one so you'll get five iron to one raw iron hope that makes sense and then we're gonna do some fuel in here I'm just hitting the square because I only want about five minutes I don't want to draw too much attention especially with a bear right outside and that's that's good right now we're at a good spot I'm going to do a bedroll because I found a new home and I'm gonna loot then we're gonna go upstairs there's a desk up there and a bed and there's also some curtains that you can use to get cloth if you need to make a first aid kit or a band or not a first aid kit but a, a bandage of some sort um, or even a a splint if you've broken your leg uh, empty glass jars are good I'm not too worried about them right now because I held on to the sand that we found or that we we're doing when we we're digging up the gravel road and we can use that sand to smelt it down into glass jars you can always use sand in the later game as well to start building concrete we don't even need that yuck but we're gonna keep it there we've got refrigerator and we have a torch that I'm going to try to help give light over here we're gonna go check this bathroom we got a medicine cabinet which I know you can't really see very well I just know it's there and then you got a toilet which my looting skills in this early game are poop literally that's why I checked the toilet last um, as you can tell I haven't worried too much about trying to uh, get food you have until roughly day three you will be hurting for food by day three you will start dying oh, it looks like we had some company usually there's a door and this isn't broken and there's a railing right there all right I'm gonna throw this one out I just take it down I, and I replace all of these again I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do that this is the cloth and you can just reuse this stuff to make splints to make bandages make clothing um, I will tell you that another thing that I find people think that cloth clothing is better actually cloth clothing at times is not better than even plant fiber 
clothing. Plant fiber gives you a positive insulation, as you as you saw from way at the very beginning. But it gives you a positive um, insulation, where I don't think cloth does. It may give you a plus one or something. We might have to check that out to really point that out. And I'm just going to go place my bedroll. Well, we'll just go place it over here. This was the other door that we need. It's locked, so you can't get out. So we're going to make it so that we can get out and then replace it with this. Well, I thought I made one. We're going to replace it with this one. Again, I know I'm doing the shortcut keys, and it's just because, like I said, I, I, speed is is key. And then I'm going to actually upgrade this. I don't have enough iron. Speaking of iron, that reminds me we need to go check this forge. Ooh, this is going to be close. I'm going to put the raw iron in there. So we need, remember, for an anvil, we need 200 iron. We only have 158 right now. And it's melting down. We're getting, we'll get up there. It will be all right. We'll be all right. We'll be able to make an anvil. I'm hoping to be able to make more. This is the time where you should be spam crafting. I'm, like I said, I haven't been in too much of a hurry because I'm trying to take the time to show you guys just some tips and tricks. You don't have to be going too fast. My world is set up to where it's only a 60 minute day. Um, you can change that to be 120. I would encourage you as you're being an, a new player to the game, do that. Do just that. I'm going to put a lot of this stuff in here. Um, take some time. Don't don't be in a hurry. Don't need that. My, I'm I'm used to playing it this way. I like moving fast. I hate sitting around through the night where I have to wait forever uh, for the night to go away. It just it's not fun for me that way. So I move fast. I have time limits, and so I have. When people tell me they're like, oh hey we're. Uh, we're at two hour days, I'm like, okay, I, you know, two hour day before I even get to nighttime, I'm already at a 200 weapon, and I haven't even started crafting anything. All right, in this, in this scenario, in this house, I put catwalks from here to there so that I can jump from here onto this, my storage crate, crate that I placed here, and then I can jump up here, and they can't get me. They're not smart enough to jump two blocks high. They can only jump one block high. So I'm going to make eight of these. And this is how you're able to stay in this house uh, through many horde nights without having to do too much. The only thing you, you kind of have to worry about is when you start getting um, the police or the cop zombies. They can spit acid at you. At least I assume that's what it is that they're spitting. It might... But yeah, they're throwing up some kind of serious acid at you. But the other zombies, they can only come up to here and they sit here and they try to hit you, try to hit you. You just take your bow and arrow and you shoot down at them. They can't do anything. And for that reason, I open that door and I open the other door. And... That allows them to just come right in. Oops, here I am trying to place it when I wasn't even on it. I could go one more. Don't go too far because then they can't get past it and then they start to derp out on it. So with that, I've got this all cleaned up. I'll explain why I haven't thrown that tin can away. Um, I'm going to start spam crafting or learning how to build better quality crafting tools now. So this is what I'm going to do through the night. That's why I said gather all these resources. Usually by this time it's almost 4 o'clock and I'm, I'm almost reaching my 100 mark at least. Let's see where we are. Man, I don't even know if I'm going to have enough iron. It's going to be interesting. 
I don't know if I farmed enough iron. Which will be okay, because like I said, at this time, we need to stand now. now start worrying about our um, water and our food. Because we started in the desert, our food and water did go down a little bit. But we have some cans already, so we're okay. I'm not stressed about it. Um, the water, yeah, we need to look at some stuff, but I'm not too stressed out about it. Now the reason why I have a can, you can use a can um, when you don't have a pot. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one here. When you don't have a pot, you can actually use a can to make water. So you can take murky water and make it into drinking water. Um, if you otherwise you have a pot, you can actually use uh, the jars, and the jars are much better. Remember, I'm scrapping these down, and I should just make 16 more. So what you need to do is you can start to make antibiotics and fertilizer and I don't think tallow is need. Oh, gas. I think it's gas and herbal. You need the beaker. And the beaker you can only find typically in um, the airdrops and stuff like that. Sometimes you can find them on um, zombies themselves. So that is why I have tin cans, in case I cannot find or I cannot make a, a cooking pot or have a cooking pot. I can actually make one right here, so I'm not too worried about it. That's why I was holding on to it, though, for you. All right, so we can make an anvil, barely, but that will be good. That'll help. Notice I started making or crafting my stone axes at roughly 3.30, and here it is. It's only been an hour in game time, and I am already making quality 72. So I'm going to get my resources back of at least what I can. We started the night at 21 quality. Like I said, if you stay on this stuff and you do it, you can actually be into the high quality easily. Uh, by the next morning, you'll be in the 100s. Okay, we're going to make 16 more. That'll give us into the 100s. It is actually morning time. It looks like my settings were left from previous games that I've been playing. Oops, not that one. Alright, for that reason we can actually leave and hopefully there's no bear. Because that guy was out here. Okay, we need to find stone. Now, don't worry about these rock lobsters. These things are big, huge. They're awesome. They give you stone, yes. But you end up hitting it like five, six, six times, and then it'll give you some raw iron. We are now in the point where we need raw iron. So this is where I don't dig anymore. I, I just tried to get through my resources, or, you know, get those quick resources quickly, and that's why I used the gravel road. I'm in the time where I have a forge. We need the iron. And you can get iron, one rock, or one stone, and one iron, every time you hit this stone, a boulder. And when it falls apart, you get other resources. We got coal, we got nitrate, and we got some lead. That all comes in at another time in the later game. You can start making your own gunpowder and your bullet tips. So with that, see how many we got? Only 19? Okay, I'm going to now use a better axe. Hopefully we'll get better items out of it. Or we'll get item faster is what I'm trying to do. There we go. Still only getting one raw iron. Typically about 80 raw iron is a good spot to kind of target so that you can make the anvil and you can make a cooking pot and you can make a grill. 
80 iron, raw iron will take care of all of that, and 200 um, clay will, will get you throughout all of that stuff. All right, let's see, 34 is where we're at. Now I can gather the wood that I need as a wood burning source, basically a fuel source. And we're going to take this, put all of this in here. We're going to take this anvil. We can put it up there now. We got 20 resources of coal. Uh, yeah, we'll put it all in there. We'll use all that coal that we just earned. And we're going to get iron. And what we need is the cooking pot. These are alphabetical if you leave it in the basics. The stuff that you can make will be first and highlighted. As you can make it, this list will change. So I'm looking for a cooking pot, right? Oh, it looks like we can make it now. Cooking pot, we're going to make that. And now we're going to look for a grill, cooking grill. We need 25, so we'll be fine on that. I'm going to scrap these. Notice we're now in the hundreds. And I haven't even hunted yet. It's, it's not a necessity at the first day or two. Because you should be able to find enough resources to survive the first three days just by the basic looting that you're going to end up doing. Okay. We have now got a cooking pot and we're going to have a grill in eight seconds. And here you go. And again, by default settings, it they stop running by six o'clock. That was my goal, is to show you how to start at six and get to six and be on a good, uh, uh, at least a good start to your game. So I'm going to recap everything that we have here and that we have done because now it is 6.30 in the morning. Even though we did take some time at the beginning and I was taking it very slow, that is what where we ended. We ended exactly where we wanted to be within that 24 hours. Hey Voltic. Uh, welcome to the stream. I actually am just ending it. This is, um, I'm, I'm actually going to go through and explain what this tutorial was, why it's important, who it's geared at. I've been streaming for an hour and by the time I end this, probably about an hour and 20 minutes max. I start the game with the settings to sh teach uh, you what the gamma you should probably have, or well, what I recommend you have it at, not probably. By default, the gamma is at 10%. You cannot see things very easily. Um, up your gamma at the very beginning of the menu. You cannot do it within this options here. It does not work. It has to be before you start the game. You go to your options and then you go to video. You update your gamma to anywhere between 50 to 70%. Don't, don't go too high. It sounds like it's a good idea, but then it just makes it very blinding. Also in that same menu, turn on display uh, distant terrain. That will make it so that you can see off in the distance. We can see there's a road over there. You can see there's a road right there. Um, as you get closer to the edge of these things, you can see where those gravel roads are. Those gravel roads were things that well, you can kind of see there's a, possibly a gravel road over there. Um, use those gravel roads early game to get quick stone um, that's going to, instead of hitting with just a stone axe or even with your fist, you get one stone. Instead, you can have a stone shovel and you're able to do one hit and get your uh, two stones. It, it's just, it's quicker. You get your, your higher stones faster. Um, while you're moving around, don't worry about getting your stone. You want to get the wood so that you can actually start learning how to build the quality weapons that you need. I taught you how to do that by building your wooden club because it's cheap. It takes 10 wood and then you scrap it. Don't repair them. Don't throw them away. Scrap them. It'll, t it'll give you 7 wood back, meaning you only ended up using 3 resources of wood. Those are quick to get back. Um, 
also getting all, completing your quests and getting all the plant fibers that you needed to get through the night. And then at night, that is when you want to start building your construction tools, which are your stone axes and things like that, or the stone shovel. We are now sitting within a 24-hour gameplay. We started the game, and we found a house, or a POI as some people call it, a point of interest. And so we started that. We found a house. We got our weapons to a quality. Well, let's see where we're at now. Um, we'll make a new wooden club because that one's kind of low. Okay, we're making 133 quality weapons. Um, that's actually not too shabby. And by day two, get to about 200. By, by the time you go into the night on day two, get to 200, wep or 200 quality of weapons. You'll be good. Um, our construction tools, uh, we are definitely building like a one, 102 maybe, a 103. Let's see what we're at, a 102. So that is a pretty decent way to start day two. Now for day two, you're going to want to start looking for a water source and start hunting and looking for your, your food. Okay, but we also were able to... Uh, because of the POI, we were able to get our campfire, and we also have a cooking pot and a grill. So we can make all sorts of uh, grilled meat, charred meat, uh, we can boil our eggs, and if you do have a water source, you now have a way to get the murky water and make it into a clean drinking water. So with that, this is the tutorial that I want to try to help people with of how to get started and survive with a day one and get started with seven days to die. It gets you off onto the right, right path and don't keep spam crafting. Once you reach the 300, you've kind of done, done it. Just keep building your, your uh, weapons and resources as you need or tools as you need them it's not required don't worry about spam crafting anymore you will get to the higher quality you'll start finding better quality stuff it's okay um, this is just to get you started for day one I hope this is a huge help I hope that uh, it helps many people and if you have any questions Please feel free to reach out to me. I'm Mr. Crow69 on the PSN. You can find me on Twitter at Mr. Crow69. You can even do a search um, out on Facebook. Uh, that's uh, you'll just want to call me Mr. Crow. You'll probably find me better that way. Um, this is just a way to get started, and I hope it helps out all of you. Thank you for those people in the chat. Um, I know it's not displaying on the right-hand side. Uh, but I hope that's just an issue that YouTube and Sony are having right now. But if there are any questions, follow up. Thank you for the questions that we've had as we've been streaming this. Um, and please if, leave a like, share this with people who you may be share, uh, playing the game with, and maybe getting onto the, I don't know, getting onto the community and being able to take on each other and doing the PvP, or even just learning how to play together. Oh, there's also a tree stub. I'm going to go check this out because I didn't see it last time. But thank you. This is where we're going to end the stream. And I uh, hope you guys all are out there. Have fun. Goof off. Play the game as you like. Enjoy it. Don't worry about what other people say. This game adjusts to all different gaming styles. If you want to be a builder, you go out there and you build. You want to be a killer, there are plenty of zombies to go out there and kill. And if you want to just have fun and survive, that is what this game is for. Thank you once again. Appreciate it. And we will talk to you guys later. Survive, y'all. Survive.